Today we are going to see once again the examples on the distance formula. Correct? See the example point. Find the points on x axis which is equidistant from the points 5, minus 2 and minus 3, 2. Correct? In the basic part of this lesson we have learned about when the points on x axis which are the coordinates. Correct? When any points is lies on the x axis, the coordinates of that points are that x point and y coordinate is 0. Correct? So similarly, if the points on y axis, then their y coordinate is definitely anyone and x coordinate will come 0. Correct? So let we will take the points. Let the points are what this on the x-axis and these two points, right? So we will take these two points, this point A and point B and point on the x-axis we will take as a P, right? So let the points are A, 5 comma minus 2, B, minus 3 comma 2 and B, this the point on x-axis, so they are definitely x-coordinate will be there and y-coordinate will be 0. Correct? So now, this point P is equidistant from A and B. Correct? So this P is equidistant from A and B. Right? Or uh, here A, this B, then what happens? This distance and this distance will come same. So P A equals to P B will be there. Right? So in this way we will find the points on x axis. So we can take here that P A equals to P B. The distance of P A is equal to exactly distance of P B. Right? So we will use the distance formula. What is the distance formula? Right. Under the root sign x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Okay. So here we write first by distance formula by distance formula ok here under the root sign x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square similarly here also the same formula we will use here for x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square, right? Now here we will mention the points this 5 minus 2 P of what? We have taken here X comma 0 and B, what are the coordinates of B? Minus 3 comma 2, correct? Now here, this P A distance and for that P A distance we can, we can take this X1 Y1 and this is X2 Y2 Correct? And for this PV distances, we will take this x1, y1 and this x2, y2. Now we will go according to your formula here. Under the root sign, what is x2? x2 is your x. So x minus what is x1? x1 is what you are 5. Correct? x2 minus x1 bracket square plus 5 2. 5 2 is what? 0 minus 5 1. 5 1 is for your negative. So, minus of 2 bracket square and here the same. What is x2? x2 is here. x minus x1. This is for PB distance. This is x1 and this is y1. Right? So, this x2 minus x1. So, x2 minus x1 is also negative. So, minus 3 bracket square plus y2 minus y1. What is y2? 0. 0 minus bracket square. Correct? Now we simplify. Now see here in this expression we have to find the value of x. Of course so we have to make the squaring on both sides and here you will make the squaring on both sides. Automatically this square root sign will get cancelled and you will get the simple sim form. This here x minus 5 bracket square plus this minus minus will come plus. So 0 plus 2, 2. Okay so 2 square. Right? Equals to here. Here x minus minus this plus. So x plus 
9 minus 25, of course. Right, minus 60. Now this negative negative side will get cancer. 16 ones are 16 and this 16 ones are 16. So x equals to 1. Okay, now hence we can write what? The required point on the x-axis. Hence what? The required point on x-axis which we have taken here P. Right? So this P of x value you got how many? 1. Right? So we will write this 1 comma 0. Understood? So the required point on the x-axis 1 comma 0. In this way if we have to find the points on y axis, we will find the point on y axis which is equidistant from this point is supposed to be. Okay. So similarly, if the example like this, then what we can use? Correct. Point on y axis, what will be there? Supposed to be P point and here x coordinate will be 0 and whatever the y coordinate that will be 5 last step. That means you will get after simplifying the same expression for the y axis, you will get the y point. Right? So when the points on y axis, we have to take on y axis, suppose this point P on y axis, then what will be there? This x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate you will get, correct? So in this way, similarly example will come like this, find the point on y axis, you have to go for the same by using the distance formula and you have to find the point this, correct? This you will get the y value, okay? One more example with us, see the students, if the point x, y is equidistant from the points a comma b, a plus b comma b minus a, okay, and a minus b comma a plus b, correct? Now this, the points we have given, we have to prove that b x equals to a y, right? Now see this equidistant is, you know that, now this point is the equidistant from these two points. So suppose these two points, we can take this, this total point is this a, a and this is b, correct? And this is the point p having the coordinate x and y, which is equidistant from these two points, correct? So we will take that, let the point, let the points r, which are this a we have taken here, a plus b comma b minus a, b, a minus b comma a plus b and b, x comma y. Okay? Now these three points are equidistant. This p is the equidistant from a and b. So of course what will be there? p a equals to PB, so we will use the distance formula for the PA equals to PB, right? So here PA equals to PB, right? After writing the distance formula for this same x2 minus under the root side x2 minus x1 bracket square and here plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So here similarly under the root side x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So this is the distance formula. P A equals to P B. So in that of course the X and Y variables are there. So we have to find the values or you have to do the relation. So we will do the squaring on both sides directly and you will get P A square equals to P B square. Means after doing the this step you will get directly what is the expression in the under root sign for both sides that you will get directly. Correct? So we can do this step directly for this X2 minus X1 bracket square plus Y2 minus y1 bracket square for this squaring on squaring on both sides ok so here you will get pa square equals to pb square means after making the squaring on both sides directly your square root side will remove and inside whatever the relay inside whatever the numbers means expression you will get direct on x2 minus x1 bracket square. So here this is x2 and this is y2 for p a this x1 y1 correct and for p b distance this is x2 y2 and this is x1 y1 understood everyone. 
So here x2 minus x1. So x2 is what you are? x minus x1. So here a plus b. Your x1 is what? a plus b. Right? Plus y2 minus y1. What is y2? y3 is your y. Right? So y minus y1. y1 is what? In the bracket you write b minus a bracket square. Right? This is what? p a square equals to p b square. Now we write for the p b square. Right? So here p b square for that what? Again x2 minus x1. So what is the x2? x2 is your x minus x1. This p b distance is for x1, y1. So here in bracket a minus b bracket square plus y2 minus y1. So y2 is what you are? y minus y1 a plus b bracket square. Correct? Full bracket square. Now we will simplify just for this. See here. Okay. So here x2 <coughs> minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So here we can do directly for the identity. See here. This a minus and this is your total a plus b. We can take that the b. So here direct simplification we can do. Right. So a minus b bracket square. So identity a minus b bracket square identity we will use. Correct. So according to that a square a square we will use a square, right? Minus so here a minus b bracket square identity is a square plus b square minus 2ab, right? So a square means a square plus b square. B square means who square? A plus b bracket square minus 2ab. So 2 into a is what you are x into b is what you are a plus b, correct? Now this completed. Now for this plus, same we we'll use a minus b bracket square identity. So a square, a square means two square, y square, right? Plus b square, b square means two square, b minus a bracket square minus two ab. Two ab means two into a into b. So two multiplied by one, multiplied by b is what you are? B minus a. Correct. Now equals to here. Here same we we'll do a minus b bracket square identity and here a minus b bracket square identity. So here according to that a square means what? x square plus b square. B square means what? a minus b bracket square right minus 2ab is 2 into a into b. So 2 multiplied by x multiplied by a minus b. Okay. Now same plus here a square means who square y square minus so here you will get plus a square plus b square b square is what your a plus b bracket square okay now 2ab so minus 2 into a a is what your y into b is what your a plus b okay now we will just check the both side whether it is possible to cancel out okay so x square x square of course it will get cancelled from both side similarly y square also will get cancelled correct again one more is what yes okay correct this is a plus b bracket square and here a plus b bracket square if you will simplify then both sides will get cancelled this a plus b bracket square again here c b minus a bracket square and here a minus b bracket square right so we will check whether it is possible to cancel out because here b positive and here b negative right so if you will use the a minus b bracket square identity you will get a square a square means who square b square right plus a square this is this a square minus 2a means minus 2 into a into b means 2b a or 2a which is same means b square plus a square minus 2ab for this expression you will get. Similarly, we will check this side. a minus b bracket square what you will get? a square plus b square minus 2ab means whatever the after simplifying by using the identity for this and for this you will get c. 
same, right? B square, here also B square, here A square, here also A square, here minus 2B and 2AB and here also minus 2AB. So, from both sides it will get cancelled, right? Now, what is the remaining? This minus 2X in bracket A plus B and here minus 2Y in bracket B minus A. Similarly for this side and similarly for this side. So, we will simplify this minus 2x in the bracket a plus b. So, we can multiply this minus 2a x. Ok, minus 2a x plus minus minus 2x into b. So, 2b x. Right? Here, by multiplying up the outside from the brackets to inside here, right? So minus 2y and b. So minus 2b y, right? Minus 2b y. And this minus minus will come plus here 2a y. 2a y, correct? Similarly, for this side, we will simplify. So minus 2x into a. So minus 2ax. And this minus minus will come plus to multiply to this side minus 2x into b. So minus minus plus 2x into b. So 2bx. Correct? Same for this minus 2y into a. So minus 2ay. And this plus minus minus 2y into b. So 2by. Right? Now y variables and x variables we will separate out here we have to take this minus 2ax correct here minus 2ax will come plus 2ax so this will get cancelled from both the sides so minus 2ax this minus 2ax get cancelled then minus 2bx is here here plus 2bx is there when you will get this side so this minus will come then minus 2b1 here minus 2b5. So same sign will get cancelled, of course, right? Now minus 2bx minus 2bx and here this plus 2bx will shift to this side, you will get minus 2bx. Correct? Here plus 2a1 will shift to this side. Here boundary minus 2a. Y and this plus 2ay will get this side and what will be there? Minus 2ay. Ok, minus 2ay. Right? Now here this minus 2bx, minus 2bx. How many? Minus 4bx. So, minus 4bx equals to here minus 2ay, minus 2ay. 2ay minus 4ay. Now this minus minus i will get cancelled. 4, 4 will get cancelled. So, you will get finally Bx equals to Ay, right? And that we have to prove. And here we have to understood. So, once again, you check properly the simplification of both the sides, correct? And finally, you will get the Bx equals to Ay. Understood? See here, the next example show that the points A, 7, 10, B, Minus 2, 5 and C, 3, minus 4 are the vertices of an isosceles right triangle. Correct? Here we have to go with the same for this one formula, right? But at the same time we have to remember what we have talked about your isosceles right triangle. Correct? So isosceles triangle means what? In triangle in that any two sides become same and another third one side is different. Right? So we want the same and right triangle means what? One angle is 90 degree. So that triangle follow the Pythagoras property. Correct? So we have to show that these three points are the vertices of isosceles right triangle. Okay. Now we will see this isosceles right triangle in this three point A, B and C. These three vertices we have to go with the distance formula, distance between AB, distance between BC and distance between AC, right? Then here, distance of AB, so by distance, by distance formula, 
okay so by distance formula first we find the distance of ab so what is the distance of ab what x to under root side x to minus x1 that is here plus y2 minus y1 bracket square so this we will take for this ab distance is x1 and this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 correct so x2 minus x1 bracket square so x2 is what minus 2 right so here minus 2 and minus x1 x1 is what you are selling so x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square so 5 minus 10 5 minus 10 bracket square okay here no need to make the square because only the numbers are there so minus 2 minus 7 minus 9 minus 9 bracket square right plus here 5 minus 10 minus 5 bracket square so here you will get what 9 square is minus 9 square is always positive that you know right so 9 square is what 81 plus this minus 5 square will become positive 25 so now here you will get what 5 plus 1 6 and 8 plus 2 10 so 106 units correct so distance between two point AB is what under the root side 106 units similarly we will find the distances of BC right so B and C so for BC distances we can take this X2 Y2 and this we will take that X1 Y1 okay now BC we will see about so distance between these two points use the same formula X2 minus X1 bracket square so what is X2 X2 is minus 2 minus 2 minus X1 X1 is what you are 3 bracket square plus 5 2 minus 5 1 bracket square so y is your 5 minus how many minus 4 ok so minus 4 bracket square right ok now here how many minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 so minus 5 bracket square plus 5 and this minus minus is the plus so 5 plus 4 9 9 square correct now the same here minus 5 square is 25 plus 9 square is 81 same numbers are here so directly we can write 9 here 106 under the root sign so this under root 106 units right now we will see for the AC distances ok now AC for the same x2 minus x2 bracket here this for A and this point C so we can take this AC for that this x1 y1 and this we can take that x2 y2 correct so AC for the AC distance x2 minus x1 so 3 minus 7 right so 3 minus 7 that is here plus 5 2 minus 5 minus 4 minus 10 minus 4 minus 10 bracket square equal 3 minus 4 3 minus 7 how many minus 4 minus 4 square is what 16 correct right? plus minus 4 minus 10 square so minus 4 minus 10 minus 14 and minus 14 square is what 196 196 so here you will get under the root side 6 plus 6 12 here 9 plus 1 10 plus 1 11 here back 12 212 units right now in this distances of AB, BC and AC here to what AB equals to BC means here AB equals to BC equals to under the root side 106 units ok and your AC in the third one side you got here 212 units right it means that these three points follow the means we can say that these three points are the points of isosceles triangle right now we have to prove that whether it is isosceles right angle triangle ok so here these three points we will write like this distance between that AB and BC is same and AC is different. So this is AC and this is point B. So here AB distance is what? Under the root side 
Right angle triangle. Okay, thank you.